What's up guys, this is Mike from Jersey Connect and today we're going to be taking a look at the Luka Doncic Nike Select Rookie of the Year Swingman Jersey. So Nike and the NBA are creating this Nike Select line that basically celebrates the last decades MVPs and Rookie of the Year. So I picked up the Luka Doncic version. So in today's video what I'm going to do is unbox the jersey, take a closer look at the finer details and hopefully help you decide if you want to grab one of these yourself. So if you guys find this video helpful or entertaining, an easy way to support the channel is just by hitting like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so when I drop new videos, you don't miss out. Quick side note, if you guys decide on buying this jersey, I have an affiliate link with Fanatic, so there's going to be a link in the description below. Basically, it'll take you to the product page for Fanatics.com and gets me a little kickback and I keep on creating videos like this. So I bought this jersey at Fanatics.com for 160 bucks. So this thing is priced right in between the Swingmans. Swingmans are 110. You got the Authentics at 200. So this is at 160. So it's right in the middle. All right, we got the first look. Boom! Right there you see that blue that Dallas usually rocks. They got a lighter shade of green. And you got Luka Doncic. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at it. Starting off at the collar, you have a blue collar. It's a little lighter shade than the typical Mavericks blue, and it has a green trim, green or turquoise, but it's a light color. And right over here, you got an extra polyester piece that's stitched down onto the jersey. It kind of gives it the look of the old um, Aeroswift Authentics or the Vapor Nudes. It's kind of the same cut, I believe. It, I don't know why they put that there, but something extra and different. And when we go to the NBA logo, instead of the typical heat press piece, this one is actually embroidered onto the jersey. It's actually nice and clean. And when we go to Doncic, so instead of the heat press lettering, you get stitch down lettering. So it's white with the white stitching. And right down there, you can see the stitching. And we go to 77. So right over here, you have blue base, kind of gradient changes to white, then it goes back to white. And these are actually stitched down. So instead of heat press numbering, these are all stitched, single stitched. And when we go down to the bottom right of the jersey, you got Luca Magic. So this one is actually embroidered onto the jersey as well. And here's a little story. No luck, just Luca, the Slovenian native, went from the European standout to league star as soon as he arrived in the Big D, averaging 21 points during the first season with the Mavs. Doncic earned the Rookie of the Year's honor, showing everything is really bigger and better in Texas. I know I slipped up on my reading. And then you can see right here, when we look at the jersey base, the sublimation, you got rookie of the year, you got a little Nike swoosh, get little green accents over here. You can really just look at the design. Basketball, kind of similar to the other ones, I believe the other Nike selects. They could have little differences here and there. See little splashes of green. Those are designs that are sublimated and dyed onto the fabric. So those do not fade. And that is the back of the jersey. On the front side, you have the same type of deal. And you have a wishbone collar. So right over here, you get some reinforced stitching. And the arm openings, same type of style. And right over here, you can see where that extra polyester piece, it's a solid colorway. It kind of creates a little, little side design right there. And when we go to the neck label, you see the NBA logo where it's stitched down and embroidered so they move that information a little off center so this one's a medium made in Guatemala you know pretty standard stuff 160 bucks medium we got the recycle tags dry fit authentic the standard fit and right in here it says Nike select series near the collar that's a cool little touch I like that and when we go to the Nike swoosh, so instead of a heat press piece, this is actually embroidered onto the jersey. Very nice and clean. And going down to Dallas, you got the same style. So basically, 
silver stitching goes around, little gradient changes on the lettering base. Got Dallas across the chest, 77. You got the same thing as the back. And down here above the jock tag, you got rookie of the year. So this one is all embroidered as well. Really stiff. They did a really good job on this rookie of the year. You got your standard jock tag. It says select. And right over here, you got all decade 2011, 2020 rookie of the year. Then you got Luca's signature that is also embroidered onto the jersey. They did a really good job of stitching those on. And on these jerseys, you get a little split, just kind of like the authentics. I don't know what that's for <laughs> still, but hey, that's a feature on there. And then they got reinforced stitching right here on both sides. You, you can see that extra stitching just so things don't rip up. And that is the front of the jersey. And this is what it looks like when you wear it. So I'm 5'6", 175 pounds. I usually go in between a medium or a large. Medium is my shirt size, so that's my true to size. So medium on this is a little more form fitting. You can see there's not too much chest room, but if I go up a size and get a size large, I'll get a little more relaxed fit and you know, I can put a hoodie underneath it. So it just depends on how you wanna wear your jersey. So right here we got the front of the jersey, right down there, you got the side panels, you got nothing, you got that sublimated design all throughout, side panel, then we got the back of the jersey, ah, ah. gotta add that step back. Overall, I think it's a nice jersey. I like how they kept it similar to the Mavericks colors. These Nike Select Swingman, they use the same polyester base as the regular Swingman, but this jersey has a little more weight to it because they have everything stitched down. You got embroidered patches and things like that. So it's a little more weight than a typical Swingman jersey. For 160 bucks, I don't think it's that bad of a buy. I think I'm gonna end up like just buying this to collect it just to see if it goes anywhere in the future. What do you guys think about the jersey? Let me know in the comments below and thank you guys for watching again and on to the next video. Bye.